If you are like me looking to better defend your ship so you can sail comfortably amongst a sea of thieves with all of your treasure, you will want to stay for this tale and hear about my fight as a solo sloop against a galleon and more. I'm Captain Daddy and this is one story you will not forget. Waking up in the tavern, I noticed something to be different. That's right, I let my hair grow out. Now I was looking fabulous. I decided today was the day to join my first emissary. However, as you'll hear later in the tale, I was not fated to have such a journey. I joined with the Merchant Alliance and raised their flag to reap the benefits from all of my sales. So off I went on a contract voyage. delivering goods to the next outpost for minimal profit and honestly, I had no clue what I was doing but I wanted to try and start a commodity run. That is when someone blessed me with a pair of the nicest pirates you will ever meet. They explained everything to me and we traded resources as he told me this would boost my rating. And thus the alliance was born. Until we both sailed away and began to sell off our cargo. I won't lie, they looked like experienced pirates based off their attire so I was expecting death at first glance. I began sailing from outpost to outpost, selling off crates and making a real profit, even finding some treasures along the way. I'd be lying if I said that this was not relaxing, enjoying just sailing the ocean and learning the seas whilst making a nice amount of gold in the process. For pirates looking to ride the waves and not deal with any combat, you are roaming in the wrong seas, as this is where I began a long road of nothing but carnage, whilst only trying to stay true to the merchants. It was on my way to the next outpost that I noticed a reaper ship nearby, which I narrowly avoided as I did not want to lose my goods that I had paid good money for. However, when I was finally arriving at the next island, I noticed a sloop station there, so I took my chances. I arrived at the deck and this lonely sloop captain was not friendly. I took a shot from his blunderbuss which blew me off my ship and I had to act fast. I'd be lying if I told you I was cool and calm. This was my first time in pirate vs pirate combat, or PvP for short. I didn't know what to expect but I fired my shots and I swung my sword. And it turns out that I'm actually pretty good at this. Over and over I sent him back to the ferry of the damned all whilst trying to sell off the rest of my crates. His feeble attempts at stopping me were met by the sharp edge of my blade. But once I had sold the last of the commodities, I turned my focus to his ship. I firebombed his decks and took him out again before getting back onto my ship and sailing into the open seas and putting to the test both mine and his ability on deck. We traded cannon fire and both sailed around like madmen. To his dismay, my shots were not missing and after a long and eventful fight, I could tell he was getting low on resources, so I fired upon him ever more until... My first real PvP experience was a success and I had sunk his vessel to the depths of the ocean. After repairing the ship and collecting myself, I headed back to the outpost, only to see that ship headed straight back towards me. I knew after last time that I had the upper hand, but as I noticed he was attempting to park on the opposite side of the island, I used this knowledge to make my way over and gain an advantage. But when I got closer, I realised that this was not the same ship, but another sailor with many chests of treasure, which he left aboard as he ran off to sell his first trinkets. I used this opportunity to jump on deck, see what he had and picked up a few of what looked to be the best loot in the pile. I hid behind a rock with his goods seeing what he would do, yet he didn't notice. I even snuck around through the water behind him to stop him spotting me and selling his chest right under his nose. This poor guy was none the wiser, but that has to be by far the funniest way I have obtained loot in the sea. However, after I had taken enough of his belongings, I went back to my ship to sail off on more commodity runs, or so I'd hoped. This journey took me through lands known as the Devil's Roar, and I didn't want to spend much of my time there if I could help it. 
However, I would come to regret saying that once I had gotten out of there and a skeleton galleon arose from the seas to fight me. And luckily for me, I had nothing aboard the ship to lose, so you can be damn sure I was staying and fighting this. After all my previous practice, I was sailing the seas and firing my cannonballs in all of the right places, not giving them a chance to get away and despite my resources getting low, I kept on the chase until they could not keep afloat and once again, I had come out on top. This however was short lived as I was trying to collect the treasure before not one but two skeletal sloops appeared either side of me. And as I did not have the resources to fight much longer, I grabbed all I could, including one of the most impressive harpoon loot steals I've seen, and sailed away to sell what I could and restock. At the outpost, however, a not so friendly brigantine sailed past and began firing. So I sold what I could, and upon realising that this was a 3v1 situation, I expected the worst. However, these pirates were not prepared for me, as I kept killing them over and over, they could not escape my swordplay. However, there is so much that only one man can do, as the three other pirates are arriving back at their ship repeatedly, and although, had we more men, I could have won, one man alone was not enough this time to win the fight and I was sent to the Ferry of the Damned. After finding a new vessel, I began sailing, not searching for anything in particular, just seeing what I may bump into, and it didn't take long. On the horizon I spotted a strange fortress that had an eerie glow about it, and me, needing to know what it was, headed straight for it. Upon arriving, this stronghold was housed by many ghosts, none of which were friendly so I took up arms and fought my way through, until finally facing the captain. I disposed of him quickly and that is when he dropped a key. This led me into a storeroom filled with treasure and I had hit the jackpot. Chests and many other gems were waiting to board my ship so I sailed it around and emptied the fort, including these strange looking dolls that I picked up. I sailed to the nearest outpost after my glorious day of mostly wins and sold all of my loot, however I soon learnt that this was not the place to sell these dolls. So I took them to a nearby outpost. Upon arriving at the reaper's hideout where I was looking to sell these dolls, a particular galleon was more than happy to greet me. I knew I was no match for a vessel of four men, so I did what I could and dived quickly into the hideout to sell my dolls. But after trying to get back to my ship, it appeared they were searching for me. If you're hiding, we will find you. I tried to be nice and call a truce, but they were only out for blood. The first one boarded my ship and after hearing his language, I had to put him in his place, sending him straight to the ferryman whilst laughing that the four of them were struggling against one of me. But guess what, it turns out that although I was outgunned and outmanned, I was still taking them out one by one, even boarding their vessel and killing them multiple times. They were shocked and even telling me to calm down. They knew they had messed with the wrong pirate and if I had a crew, this would have been the end for them. But with four times the manpower, once again they eventually overthrew me and I took one last trip to the Ferry of the Damned. But honestly, after all I had done today, this was time to celebrate my achievements and realise that I was improving amongst the seas, and one day, I would become a legendary pirate, a pirate legend one might say, and sail a vessel of my own named the Red Beard. But until then, there is only improvement to be made. This was certainly the most fun I'd had out in the Sea of Thieves yet, and I couldn't wait for more as I now sailed with a newfound confidence in combat, at least with a sword and gun, but now is the time to head back and rest up until next time. However, on this journey I had learnt so much about fighting, emissaries and apparently, if you attach a merchant flag to your ship, everybody wants to kill you. I hope you enjoyed this tale and if you want to hear how I improve my fighting skills, be sure to check my previous tale on screen as I mentioned how I was able to prove myself amongst the Sea of Thieves. Be sure to look out for more of Captain Daddy's tales but until then, arrgh!